We're going to find out massive evidence of weapons of mass destruction, massive evidence of weapons of mass destruction. All those things that you predict are going to come true, and a lot of people that have been laying out the, the case against this are going to be very embarrassed. Intelligence gathered by this and other governments leaves no doubt that the Iraqi regime continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. Iraq provided training in these weapons to Al-Qaeda. Listen, these folks are determined. These are killers. They chop people's heads off. They get, they're getting money from around the world. They're getting recruits. It turned out, as we discovered later, that a lot of the sourcing that had been attested to by the intelligence community was wrong. I deeply regret that the information I presented with the multi-source was wrong. We thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. 18 people were killed in Iraq. Nope, no weapons over there. As many as four people are dead and 15 wounded after a car bomb exploded on Tuesday. Maybe under here. Very embarrassed. In light of the fact that we did not find the weapons of mass destruction, would you do the same thing all over again? Would you do the same thing all over again? We rested our case on the existence of weapons of mass destruction. I think without that weapons of mass destruction case, uh, the justification would not have been there. It has nothing to do with national security. Matter of fact, our national security is more jeopardized by permitting this to happen because we're liable to start a war. We're liable to have our military men killed. We're liable to have more attacks on us by terrorists. I do not think it's effective. I think it drums up more anti-American hostility. I see no threat to our national security. There's no convincing evidence that Iraq is capable of threatening the security of this country. Very little reason, if any, to pursue a war. The Iranians have repeatedly said they want to wipe Israel off the map. Take military action to keep Iran from having a nuclear weapon. You have to take whatever steps are necessary, whatever steps are necessary to break its capacity to have a nuclear weapon. The Iranians are, are the existential threat to the state of Israel. Without a shadow of a doubt. It leaves no doubt. Iran will take a nuclear weapon. They will use it to wipe our ally Israel off the face of the map. It's another Iraq coming. There's war propaganda going on. To me, the greatest danger is that we will have a president that will overreact. Washington's enemy is an enemy that doesn't exist. This wild goal to have another war in the name of defense is the dangerous thing. But there is nothing that indicates that Iran is really building a bomb. They produced information that led you to believe that, but they have no evidence. We might not be able to trust the IAEA. They say that the source is actually a single source. The sourcing was wrong. It will not tell us where that source is coming from at all. The providence, providence of that source has not been established. Just like we did in Iraq, build up the war propaganda. There was no Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Okay. It's time we quit this.